Hey guys, it's Cameron from Desert RC. I just finished this build for my four-year-old son. His his own class two on my Desert RC Coyote chassis rails. He's at the point now where he wants to keep up with me, so I decided to build him a class two out of some spare parts. But we'll just kind of go over what's in it. It's got Vanquish F10 straight axles with Treel brass knuckles. 2660 Traxxas big bore shocks, my own hard body 3D printed sliders, Hilux pinched cab. My buddy Josh Polanco pinched that cab for me. It's got a Stealth X transmission with the forward motor mount, a Spectrum 2 in 1 Firma, I believe it's 2300 KV or 21, I don't remember exactly. Incision drive shafts. 3D printed bed, energy wheels, Proline dual stage foams with tusk tires in green compound, and uh, Fish's crawler part skid. But we're gonna get this thing on the rocks and see how capable it is. I'm gonna switch to my head cam so I can go hands free. Let's get out on the rocks. Done some testing at homes on the on the rocks in my front yard, and this thing does really well so far. Probably one of the more capable rigs. I have not weighed it yet. But it's got some pretty good forward weight bias. I'm gonna have to say the tusks are probably one of my favorite tires. I'm gonna say they're probably one of the best. Um, very comparable to the BFG crawlers, except the crawlers do better in loose dirt or sand. But if you're just on straight rocks, I'd say the Tusk is like my go-to tire for this. I have a feeling we can make this one. There it is. Now I have very few cars that will actually make it up this. Um, my class two straight axle bug will do it. Um, but this gets really vertical. There it is.
This thing is just eating up this place right now. This thing's doing really well. If you guys are watching my content and you're not subscribed, go ahead and do me a favor and just push that subscribe button. We're getting really close to being monetized. And I would love nothing more than to be able to make money off of the content that I put out for everybody. Only thing I feel like I need to do with this thing is put a reef servo in there, but I'm gonna wait till my son burns this one up before we upgrade. There we go. Sorry for the noise, I can't really do anything about that. I'm at an airport right now. <laughs> there we go. This thing's doing really well. It's kind of I had no expectations for this, just kind of slapped this thing together for him. But after building so many rigs, you kind of know what you need to put into them. As far as brass knuckles and forward weight bias. Try to keep it light, but if you are going to add weight, do it in the right places. Got hardcore RC links, double bends in the rear on this one. So with my 10 degree skid, it's got a really good breakover. And it helps a lot with dragging that straight axle over objects. 12.8 wheelbase. Typically shoot for 12.3 or 12.5. So this should eat up this line right here. We'll see. Yeah, this is doing better than my uh, patina bug, my battle bug. Hope you guys are enjoying the new uh, POV perspective. If you're not, just let me know in the comments and I'll go back to the cinematic low angle view. I do like driving with this head cam on because it kind of gives me a free hand to climb the rocks. 
Don't feel like I'm multitasking as much. We're gonna lose it. Okay, let's start over. Keep that driver rear a little bit lower. There we go. Every time I build a rig or make an adjustment, I like coming out here because this is kind of like my testing grounds. Gotta get that thumbnail. Interesting bind here. Let's see if we can. Oh no, we're in there pretty good. Let's reset. Let's see if we can make that transfer without getting stuck. Oh, our approach angle is what's killing us. And a weak servo. Okay, let's go this way.
I do have a store for my product, my bodies and my chassis rails. Link is in the description. Go take a look. I've had numerous types of chassis rails. I've had the uh, the Reaper V2, had G Speed V3 and V4. Um, the only chassis I would say is comparable to this because of the breakover angle would be the Reaper. It's a 12 degree. This is a 10. I had issues with the 12 degree. The front of the skid would just hit once it broke over the front axle. But with this one, it's just that two degrees less makes a big difference. And a lot of manufacturers of chassis rails had fixed holes for their chassis mounted servo trays. I put oblong ovule hose or uh, holes so that you could adjust your servo tray forward and backward to clear your servo horn for an offset pumpkin. And also move that weight bias around however you want. A lot of the time, all the further holes in the back of the shock towers were hardly ever utilized. And I said, what's the point of even having those? Uh, most of the time they need more uh, to lay down the shock a little bit more closer towards the center of the skid. So I've got some really forward or centered shock hole mounting position so you can really lay this thing down like a belly dragger if you want or if you like to run longer shocks for longer travel and articulation you'll have that option this is a straight swap for all reaper chassis g speed v3 v4 brazen whatever you have you can pretty much even the tgh sherpa you can just do a straight swap with my chassis rails put this in there but my experience with all the other companies versus my chassis rails. I don't know what it is about my design, but it pulls lines that the others would not. And we're talking a straight swap. Same axles, trans, skid, everything. And the nice thing about my chassis and side trays is that you can get to your lower link through these grub screw holes without having to pull the skid and the side trays off. Let's go to another spot. Okay, we got this line. I've got this one set up so low, just so it'll side hill well. done this obstacle before with my 12-3 wheelbase. Having the rear axle closer towards the center of the skid seems to be the number on this one. It's a pretty nasty spot.
I'm gonna be here all day trying to get this spot. That's a gnarly drop. Eh, I don't know about that. Not trying to break my son's rig. I'm already scratching up his new paint job. I think I'm gonna close it out here. Thanks for watching guys if you've watched this far. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Feel free to like, I'm not gonna beg you guys to subscribe or like, but if you'd like to support me in what I do, I'd greatly appreciate it. And uh, catch you guys next time. Go ahead and leave your comments and feedback what you'd like to see next. Let me know what you think of my other videos with the Red Rock and let me know where you'd like to see me crawl more. We could do Sand Hollow, place called White Rock, Snow Canyon, Pioneer Park. This is the airport spot. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys.